Hey guys, what is up? And today we're going to be looking at some online game engines just like Scratch. And we're going to be seeing if any of them could possibly be the next Scratch 4.0. And yeah, so let's just get right into it. The first one I found was this thing called flowlab.io. And I just created a new project and it looked like this. You have this alien dude. You know, this alien dude is like that alien dude from code.org. This is the same exact alien person. Um. I have no clue what to do here. Game levels, um, layer, layer, what? Library, player, uh, okay. So, what do we do here? Wait, what? Okay, I just click these blocks. This is clone, edit, delete, or cancel. Clone, maybe? Oh, okay, so then you can start building. Ugh, it looks so ugly. Ye okay, I'm done cloning. Now what? Library? Okay, what? What, is, what? What was happening? I don't even know what's happening. Game levels. Layer. Settings. Oh, there's only like four tabs to mess around with. Library. What is library? Uh, oh, oh, I didn't know you could click on these. Player, what, behaviors? What is this? Ship control, dangerous, run, oh, okay, this already has a run and jump thingy. That is what? Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, so we have platformer controls. All right. Very good to know. Wait, this is basically visual scripting, right? If K A or upset jump force, I'm gonna set it to something like five. I feel like he's jumping way too high. Okay. Boom. Uh, save it. How do I? How do? I, no, no, no. How do I exit? Okay. Okay, there's a there's just a giant button that says okay, and I didn't notice. And we have the ability to stick to walls. Who knew? Okay, so this one is very confusing, and I don't know how much I like it. I mean, I don't like it that much. I mean, it's not bad. I'm I'm saying it has a lot of potential. Um, that you could. You know, if you guys want to build with this, I'll leave a link to it, but not my personal favorite. So let's move on to another one. Okay, so guys, the next one is called GameFruit.com. Um, honestly, this one looks pretty interesting. So, yeah, so it has a bunch of tutorial games and all that. I want to do the RPG. It sounds really cool. Uh, so what? Did a bunch of text. Text. Text! I hate reading. Well, no, I actually love reading. I hate reading instructions, is the only thing. Um. Eh, uh, what? Okay. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of these tutorials. And I actually tried following along the RPG one before. And, um, so <laughs> it's actually pretty cool and very easy to use. Like, you see, I built this whole dungeon in less than at least, in less than 10 minutes. I built this in less than 10 minutes. That's how easy it is. You just got to go to layers, which I do not know where they are. Um, 
But see, uh, where are the layers? Oh, okay, there we go. Um, so you can actually go and there's a bunch of these tiles and you can literally start drawing stuff. So it's very cool. And literally, I don't know. I actually personally like this because there's a whole level system. Also, why do I call this? Why would I call this the new Scratch 4.0? Because there's literally an option that says Scratch Blocks. Like, help your transition from Scratch to Game, 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 game Fruit. Literally, what in the world? Also, um, there's a bunch of blocks that I do not know were that I don't know if they're in scratch. Like, look, it says simulate pressing backspace, backspace slash delete. Um, yes, please. Like, that would be so great. Um, like you could, you could try, you could press control in scratch and then it would pause the game. I mean, see this, is definitely the new scratch scratch 4.0 i'm telling you um this looks epic there's even a when wait i just thought i just thought where did it go oh yeah okay this was in here but there's even a when stage pressed i did i, I don't think that's in scratch here you know what we gotta compare and contrast the two we gotta start a new project and we gotta see this um, I didn't know, I don't know if there's a one stage clip, is there? Events, uh, oh my gosh. There's a, there's a one stage, I did not even know that. That makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. I thought I knew everything about Scratch. Apparently not. Um, I know this. Yeah. Very sad. Also, the backdrop can ask questions. <sighs> yeah. Uh, animation? Play animation idle? What in the world? There's a bunch of animations? Okay. Looks? That's just like scratch. Sensing? Wait, what? Classes? Dude, this is the ultimate. This is literally the ultimate version of Scratch. Like, Scratch should add a bunch of these features in the next update. Because I'm telling you, this is Scratch 4.0 right here. And look, even the tiles update accordingly. This is so cool. I could just make a mini dungeon right here. You know? That. But this is the coolest thing ever. I mean, if you're literally a beginner and you're straight up looking to make games to publish on the App Store in less than like a weekend time, um, this is literally the app. This is literally this. This is for you. I mean. And this is in your browser. You don't even have to download anything. So, that's pretty legit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna delete this. So, yeah. I think... I might see if I can find one more. I'll see if I can find one more. Browser-based game engine. Yeah, what? Um, collection jobs. I don't even know what this is. Phaser. What is phaser? Uh, ooh, that looks cool. But, oh wait, you have to download this. So, hmm. Okay, you have to download it, 
But honestly, this looks cool. Examples? What is example? Oh, okay. This looks really cool. Nice, people. What is this? Oh. Um. Reset. So there's a lot of things that you can do, apparently, with this. And it looks, it looks really cool. Uh, let's see. But this isn't in your browser, so it's not anything like Scratch then, because Scratch is in your browser. What is melonjs.org? Is a, uh, okay. Wait, melon? Um, what? W. What is this? <laughs> um. What? Um, 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 um. What is this? Babylon.js. What is that? Okay, um. Honestly, I don't think there are any other browser-based game engines that are really good. Um. So. I mean, if you guys find any more browser-based game engines that are really good, comment them down below. But, as far as I'm sure, Game Fruit is the next Scratch 4.0. It is epic. Um. Yeah, so it is worthy of being the next Scratch 4.0. And I hope Scratch actually adds things like this. Because then it would add a lot more depth into what you can create. Like, it's already so good. If you just add this stuff, it's going to be even better. But, yeah. So, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. So, peace out, Scribble Man!